All right, so this is going to be the uh, tip off for the next tool update video here. A couple of small items that just arrived today. Uh, it's a Milwaukee nut driver insert set. Uh, I think I mentioned these before. Nothing fancy. They are just uh, a set of uh, nut drivers from quarter inch to half inch, I believe. Uh, yeah, sixteenth at a time. And they slip into the end of a bit holder as a Phillips or any other kind of bit would. Uh, rather than being the uh, the standard Milwaukee nut drivers have the quick connect coupler and they're about that long. And uh, these are meant to go on the end of the bit holder. So that was... Uh, um, in addition to gaining a a size here that I didn't have before, uh, it's just kind of uh, simplifying everything. Um, you know, you know, not, uh, it kind of gives me three size options instead of one. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the these three sizes in there on the on the normal nut drivers, and then uh, I have one of those. I'm just gonna take out, and then I, I don't have that one at all. So. Uh, again, that gives you a variety of size options. You can either go uh, short, really short, just put that directly in the truck of your drill, or you could go with you know that plus the bit holder, or then uh, if you need the extra long one, then you can go with the normal, the bit holder and the normal one. So, anyways, just wanted to get those, so I'll uh, have have some more options for my uh, driver kit. And this is the uh, yellow jacket. Um, charging hose o-ring pit kit here I had it disassembled in the last shot as you may have saw um, so the uh, when it's all this is what it looks like when it's all together you got all the loose parts in there um, this end is where the the actual hook threads into it's got threads there um, and then this is for this looks like it would work for either a Schrader core remover if you needed it or uh, would also be for uh, pushing in or removing the the depressor out of the end of the hose um, as well you know you got the little brass depressor in there so um, it all stores together pretty nicely in here I think I thought it was pretty slick and um, I already have a container full of spare gaskets but it's uh, it's nice this one you can store the gaskets inside here too and then uh, so there's the hook and uh, most of the gaskets came off inside there but um, let's see if I can get this Try to throw this together with one hand here. Oh, no, without dumping all the gaskets out, you can't. Anyways, so this. Hmm. Not sure if I have that kind of manual dexterity, but you get the idea. It threads in there and gives you a nice little hook. The hook has a really kind of unique shape to it. It does like a 45 and then a 90, so it really would be ideal for getting down to the kind of the bottom of that cup and scooping the old the gasket out of there. So, and of course, yeah, you, yeah, I have a pick set and I could just grab one of those, but uh, this is nice. The sharp part gets concealed and it all is in this nice tight little package. It's going to fit right in the pocket where I keep my spare Schrader cores and gaskets, anyways. So, uh, for the 12 bucks I paid for it. Yeah, you know, it's a little steep for what it is, I guess, but uh, not really. It's pretty useful. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. I uh, should have some more tools coming in soon, and we'll finish off this one. Okay, got a couple more items today. Some field piece instruments, some testing equipment. Uh, this is the meter from, uh, I think it would have been the last video it got uploaded. I did, by the way, decide to make this my desk, uh, my electronics desk meter, because it's got this nice little kickstand, and the capacitance range and stuff like that is uh, a little more useful. So, um, I'm also getting a, uh, a field piece kind of a similar style meter, though. It has even more features. I think I'm going to make that one uh, go with the road on my road kit, and I think I'm going to leave this one at the desk. But we'll see. I haven't. Nothing's cast in concrete yet. I don't see kind of how I how I like each of them. So, anyhow, so that's there uh, for the purpose of explaining why I got this because I, I had been uh, looking for a DC clamp meter for a while. It just seemed like something that was uh, I, I couldn't even find it for a long time. 
I, I started to wonder if they existed, you know, and I'm like, oh, so sure, it certainly has to, right? And sure enough, it it, uh, it does. But what what kind of I just kind of forgotten about it because it's not really something you need all the time. It's kind of something I wanted for uh, automotive purposes or something like that. But on this particular, when I bought this meter, it kind of reminded me of that. And I don't know if it says something on the box here, or maybe there was some literature with it or something like that. But it said that it could measure up to 400 amps DC current, I think. Let's see, we have three different ones here. So obviously it has the, the microamps and stuff like that for a, um, flame rectification testing, rectifier testing. Maybe not. DC voltage. Maybe I'm an idiot, but I don't. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, so neither here nor there. I remember reading about this meter that it could measure DC current with a clamp meter that you could buy. Apparently, these they didn't make a whole bunch of these or something. They're kind of slightly obscure because I couldn't find any any accessories for it at all. And I believe that the current clamp was the only thing it had. But basically, it could measure AC or DC current with the clamp. So that got me kind of thinking. Well, certainly because I know for sure this is just an AC current clamp. You know, this one that came with my field piece stick meter. That's an AC current clamp. And it, yeah, if you look at it, it just converts one amp AC to one millivolt AC so whatever it has a, a something to because it trans it translates directly you know so it's, it's a one it's a one to one thing so when you when you put it on the VAC setting here on the on the meter it just reads it's a one to one ratio or whatever and this one is the same but I don't know what the difference is I know this one requires its own power supply uh, it must have some kind of brains in there or something like that. But so basically, it's hard to it's hard to find a like an all-in-one DC clamp meter. They do make them, but they seem like they're kind of pricey. Um, you know, a stick meter like this that just has the built-in clamp. Um, some of them do. And then they have AC. Obviously, they, they do AC as well. So uh, not wanting to get into that, I was I was looking for an accessory that would work with. At first, just with this one, but then uh, looking into it, I realized it was just a matter of it converting to millivolts and then you using the millivolt setting on your meter. So uh, that's what this is. This is an older model. It's kind of new old stock. I found a good deal on eBay. Uh, new old stock. You can tell just by the um, the styling of the field piece. This is like kind of their original style or whatever. So this is an AC and DC current clamp. Goes to 600 amps each, I believe. Uh, is that what it says? Yeah, 600 amps either. And up to 480, uh, 600 DC, AC and DC. It's got all the literature and stuff, it just doesn't have the original box, so probably just missing the hang tag is probably all it came with. But whatever. Same place I got this, these two items from, which is the electronic handle and uh, dual temperature head. Uh, which again, it's it's used out of the box, but like I don't know if these were like warranty returns or something that they they fixed and now they're just wholesaling them off. Uh, yeah, it's I'm gonna test it, of course. Uh, but they claim it works um, just fine, and that's easy enough to test. Uh, this comes on for sure. Electronic handle does. Obviously, we got no uh, no thermocouples in there or anything like that. So I got that for less than I could. I mean. Uh, the dual temperature heads new were like 75 plus and the handles were like 50 plus I think um, So to get both of those for 30 bucks. I don't know. That's kind of suspicious uh, yeah, Whatever if it, if it works, it's all good though, right? So um, uh, At some point and I do intend to get it uh, again. I want to get the air velocity head. I used to have it It was in my original uh, bag of tools. I'm not sure if that ever made it in one of my early tool videos, but it was amongst some of the things that got ripped off, so I don't have it anymore. But I do intend to get the air and velocity, air velocity and temperature head, and the dual port manometer head. So this electronic handle that allows you to use any of these heads that could be used on your field piece meter uh, as an independent standalone thing. Um, as it turns out, I already have the the full standalone dual temperature unit from field piece. So that's a, a tad redundant, but you know this this I could 
if I start get if I get some other accessory heads, then I can just kind of make up a new, a new bag to put in the van with just the handle and the different heads. Uh, just make a, a bag specifically for test equipment because I want to get a couple more temperature clamps. I just have this one size. Uh, I mean, all all the stuff I've had for a long time now it's held up really well. Uh, this field, this the HS thirty six here. I've, I've used that uh, on a pretty much daily basis for. I don't know, however many years since I put out my original tool video, that was one of the things uh, that didn't get stolen in uh, uh, whatever, whatever, I don't remember what year that was, it was years back now, but um, that was one of the things that, I, that is one of my original tools from when I first uh, bought HVAC tools. So meter amp clamp, um, still have, you know, original probes and uh, the original, original case and all that stuff. So. Anyways, that's uh, where I'm at for now. I, like I said, I do want to get a couple more field piece upgrades. I got some more tools coming down the line. This is just uh, what showed up thus far. So I'm um, especially interested in testing this out. Uh, I've, like I said, I've had some use for a DC current clamp and looking forward to checking it out. Looking forward to digging into this a little bit more. And um, they like said, I have the, the field piece, what is it, LT17A coming pretty soon too. So that's like a fully loaded meter. I also found a, a really good deal on it. So uh, I'm going to be doing a, a little, i uh, probably do just a separate video on that one. I don't know. I might throw it. Depends on how much detail I want to get into. So uh, thanks for watching this one. Almost forgot to add this little guy in here. This is a line splitter, a 120 volt line splitter. So it's for, you can for measuring amp draw on something with a cord without having to, you know, butcher the cord or whatever. Um, so you can see it's a standard 120 volt plug, and then it gives you two uh, places to put your clamp meter, and also a place to stick your probes in there because obviously this plugged into the wall and the device plugged in there. You once again don't without getting into the cord somehow or or having the plug not plugged in all the way. Uh, it gives you a nice place to stick your meter probes in there too. So. And then it has uh, a regular, uh, just a direct reading, you know, a times one multiplier. Um, and then it has a times 10 multiplier for smaller, uh, smaller loads. So you can get an accurate measurement on, because obviously, you know, the range on, uh, especially a meter like this, you know, doesn't really go uh, down. Uh, you know, you're only getting 10th tenth, tenth of an amp increments on there, you know, so this will... Uh, this will allow you to get more accurate with that. So uh, it was pretty affordable and just seemed like a good thing to have. Um, I have, you know, one of those like homeowner kind of grade things, uh, one of those Belkin, whatever you call it. I, I forget what the what the, the what they call their particular model or whatever, but it has like a little. It's basically something pretty similar to this, except with a uh, with a screen readout on it, and you can put in whatever you're paying per kilowatt and kind of figure out how much it's costing you to run something. Um, yeah, I forget what they call it sensor, but that's so that's a good thing to have too, and I'll, I'll keep that around floating around the house. But this is something I'm going to put in my uh, in my tool bag to take with me on the road. Uh, got a couple other little electrical test things I want to get to. Truly, I'm uh, a lot of this stuff that I'm. Uh, looking at gearing up with now is stuff that I've kind of been without for a while that I I had purchased at some point and a lot of it was was brand new and they said got got ripped off years ago and I just there's trust me there's been times where I wish I had some of it and I just didn't so I'm, I'm uh, getting to a point where I'm replacing some of that stuff now so uh, I don't think I ever had one of these but I had a nice circuit tracer kit which I've in since inherited an even nicer one so uh, it's not all bad but yeah, that was just wanted to add that little guy in there. A little AC line splitter seems pretty handy.